welcome back to Maddox here of course today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to download Minecraft mods for Minecraft Java version we're going to go ahead and dive into it I'm going to show you exactly the forge version you need how to get mods trusted sites in order to download into your folders and play it on that platform because a lot of you have been asking me how to do that so let's go ahead and jump right into it all right and just to let you guys know I'm going to go ahead and do a follow-up video after this one on how to get into my Java minecraft server because it's modded it's got over 50 mods so you kind of need to know how to do this before you know how to get into my server so let's go ahead and jump into it you're going to need to go to minecraftforge.net i'm going to go ahead and leave that down in the description below i'm also going to leave down in the description curseforge.com which is going to have all of your minecraft mods but before we get into the mods you are going to need a forge version in order to go ahead and download any of those mods so what you're going to need to look for is what version of minecraft are you going to use i would suggest version 1.12.2 it seems like a lot of mods are updated to that version all you have to do is go into the windows installer if you're on windows i don't know if you can do it on mac you might have to try with universal but as soon as you hit the windows installer it's going to ask if you want to go up here you're going to wait five seconds four three two one go skip and then you're going to go ahead and save the file it's going to go and save down wherever you have your downloads and then up here i'm going to have it this file may contain blah 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 it's going to be okay it's just the installer so it's not harmful trust me it's good to go plenty of people have downloaded go ahead and go open and then once it's opened it's going to go ahead and start downloading the forge version for your minecraft you're going to want to go ahead and install client you don't want to install server because you're not doing this on a server you're going to have it on your personal computer so install client hit ok or choose which path you want it to be saved on so which version which hard drive if you have multiple hard drives or something like that but anyways yeah i'm getting a little over it so let's go ahead and get ok i'm not going to hit ok because i've already done it and then once you've done that go ahead and cancel out of there and you're all set and you should now when you go into your minecraft go into launch options you want to go over to add new then you want to go to latest release you want to click this down arrow and scroll all the way to the bottom and what you should see is release 1.12.2 forge and then a bunch of random numbers and that should be what you see and what you want to click on so we're going to click on that and then go ahead and hit save once you've done that you can go back to news you should go ahead and click this arrow and you should be able to see that forge version somewhere right here see i have unnamed configuration 1.12.2 forge that is the one i have and that is the one you're going to want to pick when you go ahead and put your mods into your app data percent folder which i'm going to show you how to do right now all right guys so i think this would probably be step two what you want to go ahead and do is go over to that curse forge website i showed you and you're going to want to go ahead and go to the minecraft and then go to mods so we can go ahead and go here once we've clicked that it's going to show you a bunch of different mods and what you're going to want to do though is go and pick the version of minecraft that you have downloaded in the forge version so we had version 1.12.2 we go and click that and hit filter now once we've done that we should get a list of all the mods that are updated to 1.12.2 and you can go ahead and start downloading them all so you could go ahead and just do jei which i'd highly recommend journey maps is amazing chisel bubbles tinker's construct you can go ahead and search through here and see all of the different mods that you're going to want to head and grab so let's go ahead and just download one of these. I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to download. So after this, it's going to go into your downloads folder. We can go ahead and hit save for JEI. What I usually do is I go like this, I go like this, and I'll grab, it's going to be a Java file right here. We're going to go ahead and hit that folder. We're going to grab this, bring it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and close all of this. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go into my search bar this is where you're going to find your minecraft folder to put all of those mods so you go ahead and do percent app data percent once you've done that you go up to the dot minecraft folder double click find a folder called mods if you don't have it you could go ahead and create it but it should be in there double click and actually i have all of my mods already in here i didn't know i had that but if i didn't i would go ahead and grab this and throw it into this folder 
and go ahead and you'd be set to go. And you could go ahead and close that out or you could go ahead and minimize it. And then you could go over to your Minecraft, click play, and you should be set to go. And there we go, guys. I went ahead and loaded everything up. There were no issues. I was able to get into my server with all of my mods and I shouldn't have any more issues. As you can tell, this is a lot different than Minecraft vanilla. So we got a bunch of other stuff going on. We got some sound effects. We got some goats and stuff. Crazy, crazy amount of stuff you could do when you mod Minecraft. So if you guys did enjoy this, please go ahead and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. Also subscribe to get content like this. Well, I guess if you want to go ahead and join in on my Java server. <laughs> and I will go ahead and leave a link to the follow-up video if I've already made it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.